everyone, welcome back to another week of APC Kids. My name is Leah and today I'm going to be taking you through the Bible story of APC Kids. So this week we are going to learn about a man in the Bible called Jehoshaphat. Now that's quite a hard name to say, it's a very difficult word to pronounce and it's also really hard to remember because it's so long. So I want you to do something for me. Anytime you hear me say the word Jehoshaphat, I want you to copy me and go like this. Put your two hands on your head like this, as if you're wearing a crown or maybe you look like a king or a queen. So anytime I say Jehoshaphat, I want you to do this. So why are we doing this? Why am I making you wear a crown? This is because Jehoshaphat was not just a normal man. He was a king. He was a king of a place called Judah. Now for a long time, Judah had had very bad kings. They weren't good men. They didn't listen to God or obey him. But Jehoshaphat was a very good king. He was a good man and he really helped the people of Judah. He listened to God and he obeyed God. So everything was going well for the people of Judah. They were quite happy with their king and there wasn't a lot to worry about. But one day, King Jehoshaphat found out that some people from other nations were on their way to fight against the people of Judah. So some messengers came to the king and they told him that a vast army is coming to fight against you from Edom. So you can imagine how scared the people of Judah would have been. They'd just found out that hundreds and hundreds of angry people were on their way to attack them and their homes. King Jehoshaphat would have been really scared too. He was in charge of Judah and he had to find out how he could protect the people from these angry men that were coming to fight against him. So in that moment, what do you think Jehoshaphat did? Do you think he ran away screaming like I'm sure a lot of us would have done? Or did he just say, you know what, we're going straight away to fight these people, we're going straight into battle? No. Jehoshaphat did not do any of these things and instead he turned to God. He trusted in God and he asked God for help. All of the people of Judah then did this as well and they all prayed to God and asked him for help in a time when they were really afraid. So they trusted in God and they didn't just let their fear take over. So God responded to the people, he listened to them and he responded to King Jehoshaphat saying, do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. God then told the people of Judah and King Jehoshaphat to go and march down to the battle and to face their enemies. God told them that they would be fine and that they would win this battle because he would be with them. Isn't that amazing? God was going to fight this battle for them and he was going to protect them in this. So King Jehoshaphat and all the people of Judah went down to where the battle was supposed to take place and they were a bit afraid. They didn't really know what was going to happen, but they were listening to God and they were trusting in him. So when they arrived there, they saw that all of their enemies had died. None of their enemies were there to fight them and they had all died. The people of Judah didn't have to face them, they didn't have to fight the battle. But why was this? Why did that happen? Well, it was because they trusted in God, because King Jehoshaphat and his people had all turned to God and prayed to him. God fought the battle for them. God defeated their enemies and helped them in this time when they were really, really afraid. So King Jehoshaphat and all of his people were so happy and they praised God because now they could live in peace and they didn't have to be afraid of their enemies. They didn't have to fight this battle on their own or be scared. So for us here in our everyday lives, we can be so thankful that we don't have to face armies coming to fight against us and we are really lucky because of that. But sometimes we might face difficult times ourselves we might come up against enemies or people who just aren't really nice to us um, in our day-to-day -day lives. So maybe someone is mean to you in school or maybe you just face a really scary time in your life. But in these scary times, we can be so happy and so thankful that we can turn to God and that we can give all of our problems and our fears over to him because God will fight our battles for us. God will defeat our enemies and he will protect us in times of fear because he loves us. How amazing is that? 
We don't have to be afraid or scared of our enemies or we don't have to face scary times on our own because God will be there with us and God will protect us and defend us from all of our enemies. So that's such an amazing thing to know, isn't it? We can remember this from this story. We can be like King Jehoshaphat and all the people of Judah. Whenever we're afraid, we're going to turn to God and we're going to pray to him and ask him to help us and listen to him when he tells us what to do. So let's remember how important it is to trust in God when we maybe face scary times and scary people in our lives. So let us pray. Dear Lord, please just be with us whenever we're afraid. Whenever we face tough times or scary times, Lord, just help us to turn to you. Help us to ask you for help and help us to just listen to you when we are afraid. We thank you that you are a God who fights our battles for us whenever we're afraid. Thank you so much. We pray this in your name. Amen. Bye, guys. Hello, everyone. So today's challenge is all about not hurting other people. We've been having a look at all of the commandments that God set out for his people to follow over the past wee while. And this one is no different. He is asking us that we don't hurt anyone. So this could be in our actions, in the things we do, in the things we say. And my challenge to you this week is to have a think whenever you might come into a situation that you feel maybe a wee bit angry or a wee bit sad. I want you to have a think about what God would do, what he would say, what he would do in his actions. He would have kind hands and kind feet and kind words to say to other people, even though you might be feeling hurt or annoyed. He is asking you not to hurt other people. I hope that you can think about that this week, maybe in the playground in school or in the classroom or just at home with your brothers and sisters. Always remember that God wants us not to hurt other people. He wants us to love other people. So remember your kind words and your kind hands and your kind feet. Bye. You put the stars in on the space. You put the freckles on my face. And all the fish that swim and all the birds that And all the music played and all the dancing done Remind